It was a dangerous social media challenge that sent an 11 year old boy to the hospital with severe burns. And today, the now 12 year old burn survivor was reunited with a team of doctors and nurses that saved his life. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Southwest Miami Dade with his story of survival. Brooke? Maribel and Candice, a challenge on TikTok landed this now 12 year old boy in the hospital. Today, he is healthy and on a mission. This is 12 year old Nick Howell on your right today bedside in a hospital room at Kendall Regional Medical Center. He's no doctor, but he knows what it's like to be the patient. This was Nick about a year ago, then 11 years old, covered in second and third degree burns. Uh, Nick came in in a uh, pretty bad situation. Nick, who's from Orlando, was visiting family in South Florida in October 2020 when he got the idea to try a challenge he'd seen on TikTok. I poured alcohol, rubbing alcohol on the floor, lit it, it worked, and then I put it out, and then the bottle caught on fire. I had caught on fire. It exploded. It's difficult when you see your son screaming, Mommy, 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 on fire. He was airlifted to Kendall Regional Medical Center, where he spent two months in the pediatric intensive care unit. You did it, baby. You did it. Let me see your arms. Okay, Today, your his doctors and nurses surprised Nick with a hero award for surviving a year of recovery. Today, his scars brought him back to the hospital. But in this room, he hopes his scars and his story will help other kids just like him. Since I already did it, I want to help them go get through it and everything too. He is so brave. Nick still comes back here to the hospital every once in a while for checkups and a couple of surgeries. He still has some recovery ahead of him. But Kendis and Maribel, his next challenge, middle school. I'm live in Southwest Miami Dade. Oh, Brooke that, Schaefer, CBS That's the sort of News. challenge we can get behind, <laughs> not those TikTok challenges. Brooke, thank you so much.